All right. Now we're going to compare full face masks. This is some. Uh, I think it's a paintball mask, and we're going to compare half masks like the one I use. Now there are some very good full face masks out there. Like die, those are very very popular. They're pretty cool looking too. But I'm pretty sure when you need to look cool, half masks can be the way to go. Because not only can you wear the half mask, but you can also wear the eye pro and the hat. It's actually the whole reason I got a half mask was so I could have the hat. And that's actually why now a lot of people think, oh I got the well, maybe you think, I don't know, I don't know your own thoughts, but maybe you think I got this because I think it looks cool. No. Got it because it matches the hat. That's right. Laugh at me if you will, but it matches the hat. Anyways, so full face masks. Advantages. Not only does it cover your eyes and your face and your ears at the same time, but they're definitely more breathable. Like one of the things I've noticed about the half mask is like it rides up on my nose a lot. Maybe I'm putting it on wrong. I don't know. I've never really cared too much to think about it. Um, they also don't fog as much. Like a, a big thing with half masks is uh, my goggles, glasses, or whatever tend to fog because it's definitely a lot closer to your face. Because like this, if you can see, it has some space in there, and definitely for some breathability. And half masks, they don't really have that. That's that's going right up on your face. And if you do like what I used to do, where you'd have like maybe a bandana or something. It's just my orange one I got at school. Uh, or something over it. it. Then it really starts to get fogged up. So then I just started wearing the bandana lower just to cover my neck. And then I got a angel gave me, or no, it was Silva gave me one of the... Uh, one of the neck cover things, and it's really awesome. It, it's a skull, and so it's really cool. Sometimes I'll put it over this, but not a lot of the time because then it really fogs up my glasses. So, pros about the half masks is you can wear these and glasses, and they're definitely lower profile, but then you also have to get your own ear pro, like these. I actually really like these ear pro because they it's they go around it just enough to where it's not it's like they're not even there most of the time and I can still fit earbuds in there if I feel like it but the main reason a lot of people wear half masks in my opinion is so they can wear hats and helmets because sometimes you just want to go onto the field like this although I can't use my sunglasses so I'd have to go like this but it's still pretty close you know it's pretty good it's definitely more comfortable and if you're sniping a lot or at least looking through your optic a lot like I do because it's not on there for looks although I mean it kind of is but I actually still look through it and back in my sniping days when I'd use my M14 a lot I needed to look through my scope and with all the space yeah it's cool it's awesome you have all the space so that if you get shot, you know, it, it's not like it's right there or, you know, you're not going to fog up your glasses. But it's really, really, really hard to snipe with these. So if you're going to be a sniper, I suggest you get a half mask. Because then you're going to get right up on that on that stock and you're going to get a, get a good cheek mount so you can see that the scope, instead of, you know, having the scope reticle down here and you're trying to look into it and you're looking like a retard and then you get shot by the enemy. I mean... Laughs for them, not laughs for you. And you remember, you're supposed to be the one laughing, not them. So, now, the iPro I use, it's kind of not supposed to be used. I mean, it still works, and they still allow it, but it's like, it's like borderline. So, proper iPro glasses would look like these. I kind of took the, um, the eye covers out, because they fog a lot, so I was going to tap them out with something. But then I never got around to it. These are full seal, so they've got that kind of foam going all the way around. They fog. So much. You don't even have to be wearing a mask. Like a half mask and they'll fog. 
That's why I don't like them. That's that's the major down point of the half mask, because they're definitely going to fog more than your regular mask. But regular masks like this one, it, it will fog eventually, but it's definitely going to take a lot longer, and it's definitely not going to be nearly as bad. But then if you're getting a really nice, like maybe $90, like I4 dye, because I'm pretty sure it's, no, they're probably cheaper now. But if you get like a dye mask, it's probably not going to fog on you. And then, you know, you've got a dye mask, so you can swap out, so you can have either clear or like yellow or whatever you want. That's what sucks about my iPro. It is going to stay like this forever. So night games with it sucks, especially when they fog, so you can't see anything. So night games, definitely going to be a bit better with these. That's basically it. Um, remember, if you're getting a half mask, you also need to get yourself eye pro and ear pro. And now there are some half masks that are more expensive. I've seen them where it's like this, but it also goes and it has more mesh. And so it's basically going to look almost kind of like that a little, except for different because it's going to be all connected and stuff where it covers your face and then it goes back and then covers your ears. Now, another problem I have with my half mask is it falls off sometimes because it's not, my head isn't that big and it's kind of difficult to tighten because then it untightens itself. So if you got kind of like a small head, you might want to just go with one of these. So yeah, remember, you got to look cool. If you don't know what you're doing, then you're not going to look cool. And if you're trying to like, on your sniper rifle, if you're sniping, you're not, like, not going to look cool. So remember, half masks for sniping these for night games or just buy them both and figure it out see which one you like I had to deal with these for a long time to the point where I literally actually cut the goggles out and cut them half ma uh, the mask to make it kind of like a half mask to take as much off there so I could wear my hat oh god that was terrible but it worked so yeah have a good day see you guys next time